and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lucian Dawn Spiders. This is going to be our uh, next deck. We've played this one before. This one isn't as like all the other decks that we're playing today. We're playing uh, new cards. Um, well, the cards that that got updated with the patch. This one, not so much. I guess the only thing that we have here is Frenzied Skitter that is now going to be a 3-2 instead of a 3-3, so we can see how much that will affect it. But, um, you know, we're getting six decks in today because of no stream tomorrow. Um, and, uh, you know, I just kind of wanted to play this deck again. This one was a fun one from before. Um, basically, we're going wide with the spiders. You know, we got all of our, our spider stuff. Um, you know, pretty pretty uh, normal Shadow Isle spider um things but then we uh to pair that we have dawn speakers be able to uh, grant our allies plus one plus one every time an ally dies and then we also have lucian that if um, we see four uh allies die then lucian can flip last time we didn't play senna and missed that and felt like we should have had some senna so we had six or sorry we have three of the six mana cythrias and so we're going down to one and adding in a couple of senna's in there instead um and uh, and yeah so that's this is our deck yep let's save those changes we just made let's get the let's go to the hall of valor with some spiders you can we'll keep we'll keep you grump all right Like these cards. I'll just keep this. We'll have turn one Aristocrat, turn two we do nothing, turn three Senna, turn four Brood Awakening. Um no, never mind, turn two Elise. Now we if we if we curve out though Elise into Senna, then we won't have five mana on turn four to be able to play. Brood Awakening. You've no idea. So young. I must get out of here. I pull the strings. You trade Senna for Elise? Just trade. You like, is that a good trade? Please, I have connections. Say no. Kind of does hit really hard. cans for the dogs they they just had their dinner and they love looking out the cans it's like their their dessert it's waiting for Harvey to finish though They could just have Brood Awakening themselves, and then, I guess, and then flip Elise, and then I guess I'll feel bad that I didn't trade with Senna. Get me out of here. 
all right so we'll just have one thing die uh this is you know then we'll play lucian then then don speakers and to grow everything with the dawn speakers Alright, so we're gonna need Swiftwing Lancer to challenge the Elise. And I hope it works. Hope they don't have a, a removal spell for Swiftwing Lancer. If it does work, then trading these spiders for their spiders is a bad trade because you know we'll have this die, and then these could have been could have been grow into three threes. But if it doesn't work, then I'd like to get these trades in so that these other spiders don't you know, they don't do other spidery stuff. Vanguard Bannerman. Vanguard Bannerman wasn't an elite before, was it? So I know it got updated for this, but then it also got turned into an elite. Is that is that right? Or was it always an elite? It was always a elite. Uh, always an elite. There's nothing to fear. Smooth as. I just don't really remember. Um. Guess they could have another ruination. I don't really remember uh, ever getting, you know, ever getting a Bannerman off off of a Swiftwing Lancer. I guess that's that's why I said something. Well, we're likely gonna lose this now. I, I don't think we're getting another 16 points of damage in. Uh, that ruination was really rough. Taking okay, you know, out Santa Lucian. That was quite rough. But we'll see. I guess I should have played Curse Keeper and Butcher pre-combat because... Like, maybe I should have just done everything pre-combat. Basically, I don't want to, didn't want to because if they had a Ruination, then I would, you know, that would have blown me out. But, with that being said, if they have another Ruination, I'm just going to lose anyway. So I shouldn't have played around it. I should have just done all this stuff pre-combat. Yeah, like, I should have just done this all pre-combat. I mean, now I'm not playing around a Karina Barraza, but again, I'm I'm not beating Karina Barraza. Raise the banner, lift our spirits. Dang. What was our chances of hitting there? Sixteen out of our sixteen. 
out of our 24. So 40% chance. Yeah, I mean, it's not like not playing anything. I would have been like, oh man, not a good win now. GG's. I don't know if I would have had a chance if we would have played all that pre-combat. Maybe. Maybe. I'm going to keep Lancer because Lancer can kill Yasuo. Get rid of all this stuff. This isn't the most, this is, you know, less aggressive. My thinking, though, is that Tracker Don't let the fluffy tails fool. can still be good. Push back the darkness. Um, you know, it could be, like, a, a good thing to play on, like, turn three if they're, like, not expecting it. Ooh. Well, let's just, let's just do this. Don't let the fluffy tails fool ya. That's a good line. I go where the road takes me. Kind of need to bounce the Lucian. But they also need to bounce the Swiftwing Lancer. And they can't bounce both. I cannot to bounce them both. They really need uh, They really need to reduce the cost of something. Okay. 
Can't have anything die, though. Curse Keeper works pretty good here. I guess the problem is that we don't get to rally, because you know, like we would rally right now, but we already have the attack token. Alright, GG's. Yeah, we hey, that's our we haven't been doing good against Yasuo. Is the last the last deck we played Yasuo was 2-0 against us, so I don't feel too bad for the Yasuos. We actually we finally picked up a win against them. <clears throat> no champ for all your piltover. No champ's probably very controlly. That's what I'm guessing like Karina Control. But I'm not sure with Freljord. Maybe not. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I, I probably should have kept the Brood Awakening. Like that's a card I'm probably supposed to keep. Oh, you think this is Yeti? Poro Von Yip. So Yetis and Poros or one or the other with Von Yip. Could be. That could be it. could be an assembly bot deck. Push back the darkness. Lucian Dawn Spiders. That's our deck. They can play a spell and then block a lease. That's just kind of how life is. <clears throat> they do that, then I'll play Crawling Sensation and Dawn Speakers, and then we'll have a whole bunch of tutus. That's kind of cool. Jury rig being part of the spell makes makes my plan more rough. We're not gonna have as many CTs. Well, I guess if you build an assembly bot deck, it's good to draw multiple assembly bots against no removal. What? Just want to grow those that bad? That can't be worth it, right? I guess it is worth it.
can't really play anything here. Oh, really, Ravenous Butcher? Can I add you last turn? I had Ravenous Butcher last turn. That was been great. Assembly bots are working. Hmm. I guess I should have cast back to back pre, -con you know, before damage, or attack with the dawn speakers. Also, I didn't. I didn't count that up. Good take. Yeah, you know, good take. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm Shadow Owl's Demacia. I don't have direct damage. I I was, you know, expecting some kind of block, and then we would play back-to-back, -back, but the no blocks, and so then I don't get to play back-to-back because -back there's not, you know, you don't have another step. If, if there's no blocks, you don't get to, you don't get to do anything. So that... That was really good. I guess I should have... I didn't count it up. I should have counted it up and then seen that we were one short and then... Um, and then, you know, also just attack with the 1-4 so that they have to just do some kind of blocking and then I get to back-to-back. -to -back. So that was my bad. I don't think... No, I don't think we should have back-to-back just right away. But if we would have just sent the 1-4 in there... We would have been fine. I don't know. No, I should have mulligan Senna. Yeah, I should have mulligan Senna. Senna dies to... You know, I, I knew, like, the, like, this stuff dies to, like, Avalanche and Withering Whale. It Senna dies to Avalanche. Also, as, like, a three drop. I probably should have just Mulligan Senna. out though we the bite. I'm definitely blocking the spider Words move hearts and armies Right, getting this thing, like, getting to four toughness so it doesn't die, so we don't die to, like, grasp the undying, pretty important. They could keep me from drawing two cards. Cool. Sounds like a vile feast, but no. Don't know exactly what this attack's about, but I'm just not gonna not gonna block. I 
They're already at nine mana for like ruination. Well, I'm at five. <laughs> He's got a pretty big mana advantage. They have Withering Whale or another Avalanche. We're gonna have this thing in play. Yeah, you know, we got. Yeah, you know, we gotta play something. two sweepers this turn and we still have five creatures. But yeah, I should have mulliganed the Senna. We saw all those avalanches. Eleven damage. Get to just untap and attack the Citria. Nope. They're gonna block. Now that's a that's a good card. The Ice Veil Archer. So they don't have Ruination mana. They got eight mana. If I want to play. You know, Skitter or Senna pre-combat. Um, they can use Vengeance, but if they don't have Vengeance, this is, like, game. You know, because if they have, like, you know, if they have, like, Withering Whale, they, you know, still would have been able to play Withering Whale. I guess I would have been able to attack and gotten these out of Withering Whale range. Though, huh. Well, let's see. They block this, they stay alive. They only have three mana. We're gonna try to make the dead deader. That thing's frostbitten. Was Brood Awakening worth it over Senna? Where Brood Awakening would be a 2 1 and then an extra point here and here. So it would have been four points, you know, spread across to the three bodies. Yeah, I'm probably playing with it. Senna and Gaven, that in case. Emergency. All right, two and two for Lucian Dawn Spiders. Probably could have been a three and one if I would have just attacked with a one four, but I didn't do the math first. Especially with how there's the eye in the middle that tells you what's going to happen in combat. There's Kind of no excuse to not use, like not just use the eye and see if you're attacking for lethal or not. There wasn't. There's not really an excuse for me to to have lost that other game, but it was a good learning learning uh, tool. You know, I didn't think about that too much. Hey, no, Faye, Yeah, playing Legends of Runeterra instead. This game, we wrote this like back in February. I think this is just a more balanced, more enjoyable game to play, and so I've been playing this. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, from from coming from the the magic background, this is not something that I'm used to at all. 
and I just don't even I just forget about this being there all the time these cards are great so I, I could block and then dawn speakers but we'll just get this Senna going in a world full of monsters Draven Katharine. Right. Um. Go ahead. Yeah. Like, is this worth it? Do that. Is that worth it? Ready the torches. I kind of feel like they're going to be playing Reckoning next turn. Oh, thanks, Hada. Thank you. No Blindheart playing Legends of Runeterra. Really enjoy this this uh, balance card game. Thanks. Yeah, and that that Google document was something I wrote in February about it. Okay, they cannot reckoning next turn. Not skitter and dawn speakers. Only the finest serve. So if I wanted dawn speakers, which I do, I have to play cursed keeper. Just no attacks, darn it. I want them to attack and I chump block them, play Dawn Speakers. That would have been nice. <laughs> so if they kill Lucian somehow, then Senna will level up. Um, I think it's it's more likely they try to kill like the Lucian dies and then then we want Santa leveled up. Like if they have a removal spell, they're not going to usually kill Santa to level up Lucian, right? Like they're going to go the other way around. Let's see what you've got. I know a challenge when I see one. This will be quick. These dogs. Okay, back to this. So we're gonna have uh, not a lot happen. Um, The Lucian should have the quick attack, but I guess, you know, just kind of bugged out with me using the Oracle Eye there. So they could still have Reckoning and then kill Lucian.
Oh, they have Whirling Death. They're figuring out what, what they want to do with the Whirling Death. Right. Maybe I should have just pumped up Lucian and Senna. No, that's fine. They don't have reckoning. I am not going to be able to survive a reckoning. Oh, they did. GG's. Yeti smash. Yeti smash. All right, so there we go. So there's Lucian Dawn Spiders. Um, yeah, reckoning is very rough. For sure. Um, but yeah, we went 2-3. Should have been a 3-2 if I would have paid attention. Uh, real close attention. You know, I had to uh, use that Oracle's Eye. You know, that third game. You know, y'all saw that. But anyway, um, yeah, you know, pretty good. Pretty good deck. Uh, a little disappointing. It kind of felt it felt a little disappointing. I think that the, the Lucian Callista deck we played yesterday, I think felt like a better deck, this Callista Lucian deck. Um, I think I liked this version more instead of all the little spiders. Um, everybody's got sweepers these days, don't they? It's just, it's just, it's just, uh, you know, avalanches and withering whales and, um, now reckonings everywhere. Reckoning kind of rough, but because like, like crawling sensation, hapless aristocrat. Oh, those cards. I don't know. They were pretty meh. But I guess they just kind of help make Dawn Speakers even better, I guess. But um, they're just pretty meh cards in general. All right, but there we go. There's Lucian, Dawn Spiders. We got one more deck to play tonight. Uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, you know, feel free to hit that like button over there and leave a comment. I'd really appreciate both of those. Um, also, if you want to see your deck played on a stream, I guess I haven't mentioned this in a little bit, it's a donation deck. It's just a $10 donation. The donation link is in the, the YouTube description. And you just put your deck code or um, the idea of your deck that you want me to play in the uh, donation description, and I'll play your deck on stream and for a YouTube video. All right, but that's it here for Lucian Dawn Spiders. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.